welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog another few days in my life if you're new here hi my name is Laura. i'm a lifestyle content creator based here in new york city and on this channel i post a mix of vlogs about life in the city about my journey into motherhood i have a daughter julia she is almost a year old and i also talk about the behind the scenes of being a content creator and influencer and all of that if you're new here and you're still not subscribed hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell so you can get notified of every time i upload a new video now we're getting back into the swing of things what you just saw was an event that i attended yesterday it was with the brand irene 40 they do skincare i have actually never heard of the brand before this event which is super exciting to be honest there are lots of skincare brands and beauty brands that are showing up in the space or maybe some that have been existing for many years but maybe they just come to the us from europe or maybe they're just new to me but we had a lovely lunch at the public hotel it was really beautiful if you have never been to new york i highly suggest you drop by their lobby is really gorgeous they have a coffee shop down there and if you need to work for the day you could buy a wi-fi pass and they have like a beautiful lounge with chairs and sofas and like a bookcase that is upstairs and even if you're not staying there or if you don't want to drop by for a coffee they have their iconic escalators right by the entrance so maybe you want to just take a photo or something like that so that was yesterday and then then I started vlogging last week and then the day was so so crazy that I actually filmed quite a lot and then by the middle of the day I was like this is going nowhere but I did some awesome things I went to a soul cycle class with a different skincare brand this was very fun but also pretty hard I have never done soul cycle before which is like a type of spinning you're like cycling but you're moving a lot you're going at like different speeds you're supposed to like not dance but like move quite a lot or at least move more than i was expecting it was hard i was like i'm out of shape which we might talk about in like a different video but yeah this event was really great i have some of irene 40 products to try i have some of this other brand products to try as well and speaking of skincare i also went to a facial last week at this new place called field studios they're right in the heart of Soho. So if you're ever in the area or if you live around there or if you just want to drop by, they have a really beautiful space. I was with Keiko. She did some cleaning, some extractions and massage. Really overall great experience. And now I am heading off to a lunch with another brand. This is Cybex. You probably heard me talking about Cybex a lot before. Probably one of the brands that I mentioned the most. Julia Stroller is from Cybex. She actually has like three different strollers from Cybex. We have the big one, the preamp, the one that we use the most. And then we also have two travel strollers, one that we took on our trip to Argentina and that we usually use during the week. And then we have another one that's like more fancy that I've used a couple of times when I had events in the city, like the Ever 10 event that you probably saw during fashion week or things like that. So I am going to a lunch with them. They're having a new collection, like a new design of the preamp stroller. Really excited about that. And then I'm thinking about about walking through the Upper East Side because it's the end of October and all the Halloween decorations are up and I want to show more of the city on my vlogs. We'll talk about that at the end of this video. But yeah, as I always say, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to a few days in my life. You're coming with me and let's go.
came back, I feel so tired. It was a great event, talked to quite a lot of people. So I feel like I made a lot of new connections, I had so much fun, I laughed a lot, but I'm also like quite tired. Also, they gifted us like this really, really nice blanket with Julia's name on it. And I was like carrying that back home in the subway. My arm still hurts, which is not ideal. And then after that, since I was already on the Upper East Side, I decided to go for a walk, a Halloween walk. I really love the city during fall and during Halloween, especially. I always say that October is, in my opinion, probably the best month or one of the two or three best months to visit New York City. I would say October is probably my favorite month then it's probably may which is spring and still not as hot as summer in the city and then i think december december is really crazy because of the crowds lots of people here but the city is transformed during christmas there are lights everywhere i feel like people in general have like a more joyous spirit or something like that so if you ever get the chance i really highly suggest visiting during one of those three months that would be like my top three favorite months and what i was mentioning before going to this event is that i really want to show more of the city on my vlogs so if you've been following my vlogs and my channel for a while you know that i do a lot of content around new york city i have a full playlist that's called new york city and there are like apartment tours and there are tips about life in the city and vlogs in the city there's a lot of new york and i specifically also do vlogs about New York City, another whole playlist of vlogs. I did some last year, some this year. So I think you can really tell if you go on my channel that I am based in New York, that I create content around the city. So I don't think that's like up for discussion. But what I have been wanting to do for a really long time, like really long time, like two years since we moved back to New York from Germany, was show more of the city in like a more, you could say like touristy way but i would also say like me showing you around town instead of me going to events i feel like now vlogs are mostly about my life in the city so i really want to do more about new york like you're probably thinking like floor you show lots of new york already like we know new york through your videos but i want to do more of me taking you all around town and maybe showing you my favorite coffee spots or my favorite places to eat or my favorite places to like walk around i would love for this videos to be like a sort of a guide if you're visiting new york and you're like not ready where to start or which neighborhoods to visit but also if you're not planning on visiting new york if you live really far away or it was maybe never in your plans or whatever the reason might be maybe you just feel like walking virtually around town or having a day to yourself but through your screen with me so that's the like the plan i want to do this like walk through the upper east side and all this like halloween decorated houses and show that first and that like be not a teaser but like a way of pushing myself out of my comfort zone which is vlogging around the events that i go to and the things that i get to do as an influencer as a content creator and show something different have like a name for this series or like a set plan like i don't know which neighborhood to go first or to go next but I would love your input, your suggestions. If you would love for me to visit some place specific or if there's like some area around town that you never got a chance to visit when you were here in New York or maybe that you heard about but never actually been to. Anyways, any suggestions, any comments, any tips would be welcome. You could leave them down below in the comments, of course, as usual. I wanted to like talk a bit about this. I was thinking about doing like a specific video when my channel turned three years old talking about like plans for the future and I thought that was maybe like a bit much and I could just talk about this on a vlog and not do like a whole separate video about it so that's why I brought the topic up here on this video and also I'm thinking about doing vlogmas which is something that in not all honesty I've wanted to do for so so many years but the commitment of the 25 days is of course a lot and also I usually travel to Argentina during Christmas which made 
the whole like filming and upload schedule like a huge mess so i always like postpone it for one reason or another i did like a short series in my channel in spanish with four videos like around christmas like showing you around town and the decorations and stuff but i want to do more this year which i know is ambitious because i have a baby and i have work stuff that usually gets more crazy and more busy during the holiday season but i'm thinking about doing like 10 or 12 days off vlogmas which would be like around half the amount of like normal days and show you my favorite trees in the city my favorite holiday decorations favorite places to go during the holiday season in december so yeah definitely let me know your thoughts on that as well and i think that's everything for the updates i think that was everything that i wanted to talk about in this three-year anniversary video that i never shot and anyways that is going to be it for today's video i look really tired i really want to start editing this vlog Leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video, which of the events that I showed you, you like the most, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and if you haven't subscribed already. I will see you on the next one. Bye!